this video, we're going to learn how to build a MIDI input circuit and connect it to your Arduino. This will allow you to control your Arduino with any device that outputs MIDI data. Before you start, I would suggest checking out my other video entitled MIDI for the Arduino Circuit Analysis. This video looks at the components that make up a MIDI circuit and explains how MIDI works in general. Okay, let's get started. I'm using a small breadboard to build up the MIDI circuit and an Arduino Uno. Click the link below to visit notesandvolts.com for a full parts list, schematics, and Arduino code. Here's the schematic we'll be using. It might be a good idea to print out a copy so you can follow along. The first thing we'll do is place our 6N138 optocoupler chip. Take your chip and find the pin 1 mark. It will be a little notch or circle on one end of the chip. We'll place the chip in the last four holes of the breadboard with the notch pointed towards the right. It's very important that you place the chip in the right orientation. Here's how the pins on the chip are numbered. We'll refer to these numbers during the build, so make sure you remember them. Now we'll take a small jumper wire and connect pin 8 on the chip to the positive rail at the bottom of the board. Next, connect pin 5 to the negative rail. Now we'll place a 4.7K resistor between pin 7 and the negative rail. Now, we'll take a 220 ohm resistor and place it between pins 6 and 8 on the chip. Next, we'll grab our small signal diode and find the mark that represents the negative side. Place the diode between pins 2 and 3 on the chip with the negative side on pin 2. Now, we'll connect the MIDI input jack. Before you connect a jack, it's very important to find the locations of pin 4 and 5. When looking at the face of the jack, those pins are located here. When you turn the jack around and look at the rear side, notice how the pins are reversed. This is easy to get confused, so make sure you double check before you hook it up. No matter what style of jack you end up using, make sure you get this step right. Now we can go ahead and place the jack on the breadboard. Place it so that pin 5 on the jack is connected directly to pin 3 on the octocoupler chip. Now connect a 220 ohm resistor between pin 2 on the optocoupler and pin 4 on the MIDI jack. Make sure none of the parts are actually touching each other. At this point, we're ready to connect the breadboard circuit to the Arduino board. Connect a jumper wire to the socket marked 5 volts on the Arduino. Connect the other end to the breadboard's 5 volt rail. Connect another wire to the Arduino's ground socket, labeled GND. The other end of this wire will go to the breadboard's negative rail. Finally, we'll take a slightly longer wire and connect it to the RX pin on the Arduino. The other end of this wire will go to pin 6 on the optocoupler. Your MIDI in circuit is now complete. Check out the next video where we'll look at installing and using the Arduino MIDI library and writing some code to test your MIDI input circuit. Visit notesandvolts.com for more projects and tutorials, and once again, thanks for watching.